I'm Jared. I play guitar and sing next to my beautiful wife. I'm Hannah, and I sing, and we're Jared and Hannah. Jared and Hannah. Playing cover music is fun because someone's gonna know at least one of the songs you're playing, mm -hmm. you know, versus originals. I mean, I used to really focus on originals, but now it's just, you know, you can play these songs that people know and love, and it just, it helps them, you know, it helps take a good night to a, to a great night, you know, when they can sing and dance along and have fun with their friends, and it's just, uh, it's just, it's fun being able to cater to everyone, I guess you could say. We become this vessel to bring people back to a time and place um, that they've been before. We tell when a lot they, of stories. We get to tell a lot of stories, um, and every song tells a story, and so, you know, we might sing a song, for instance, Strawberry Wine, We'll sing that song and it takes people right back to being 17 years old, you know, out with a boyfriend or girlfriend. People have memories and when we sing these cover songs that they know, mm -hmm. they are able to um, be taken back to a place of joy, of happiness, of good times, and they can just celebrate and have fun and that is just so cool. So I'm really, really curious to know what beer you're drinking. So on the count of three, I want everybody, just as loud as you can, to shout out what number beer you've got. Take a look at the screen. Figure out what number you're drinking. All right. On the count of three, just let us know which one you've got. Are you ready? One, two, three. Um, I don't think that in the beginning it was ever about music at all. Um, it was just kind of two people that had mutual friends and got connected in some way. Um, we talked for a couple of months and um, he kept asking me to come to some of his shows and I was like, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but um, once we got together, you know, I was just kind of this girl that liked to sing and he was a guy that was really good at what he did and was already doing the thing, you know, playing music all over town and um, we just kind of by chance sang together one day and it got married nine months later. Learning just rhythm guitar at first um, was the best decision ever because I can always be that guy who can just pick up a guitar and play a song, you know, wherever I'm at. Truthfully, and everyone knows this, but you're too humble to say it, you can play anything well. I did musical theater. And I started singing when I was really little, um, and I would sing for anybody who would listen. Um, and I grew up listening to a lot of country music and um, performing my own concerts in my bedroom, <laughs> in the window still. I'd say like it's never been a goal of ours or our dream to be famous. Or strike it big. To strike it big. That's just not who we are. It's We're just a hobby and we just yeah. we enjoy doing it and it helps support our family. And it's just it's it's our creative outlet. So even though you know she's with them with the kids all day and I work a day job, you know, we still have those nights out of the week that we can, you know, use our creativity and and just meet new people and just do what we love to do, play music. Every couple has that thing that kind of connects them. But I mean we really truly feel like we have something that a lot of people will never experience and that's having the same passion that you get to do together and um, you never get sick of it. When we met, we got engaged six months after we our first date. But from our first date, something happened between us that I don't even think we've ever been able to explain. We just fell in love quickly, mm -hmm. and we knew, we knew two months in that we wanted to get married. Um, and I just think that it's um, really encouraging to other people to follow your heart and to take that leap of faith, because here we are, we've been married five years, we have three kids. Our best advice to give somebody would be just to follow your heart, stick with your gut, and when you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to what other people say, because You'll be down the road, you know, five yep. years later, <laughs> living a beautiful life, and it's worth it all. So maybe all I need in darkness is all I see. So come and rest your boat with me.
driving so on Sunday morning And I never want to leave And I never want to leave And I never want to leave Maroon 5 for you, thank you.